<laughs> well, I'm Dave Kersner. I'm here with IK Multimedia, and we have Marcella Areca, recording and mix engineer here. And uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, IK Multimedia plugins, especially the new mix box. Um, so, Marcella, tell me, so you mix inside the box and also with uh, an analog console at your studio, correct? Yes. And yes. Uh, when you use plugins, um, how do you find something like Mixbox where you have essentially like a, a lunchbox meets a multi-effects with lots of different effects you don't normally have from T-Rex, like distortion and chorus and phasers and other things, 70 effects. How does that work for you and your, you know, in your system, something like that? Um, well, I mean, workflow wise, I mean, it's just basically you have everything at your fingertips. So, I mean, within one plugin, you're able to just access you know, your compressors, your EQs, your effects, and just kind of put them in whatever order that you feel you want to be creative with. You know, one thing about me mixing is always about just not trying to stick to, to um, rules by the book, but rules by art, you know? And I just feel like a, a plugin like Mixbox really allows you to kind of just get as free as possible without having to, you know, everything is right there in front of you. And you just, you know, through a pull down window, you can literally access everything. And, and, and just get to work. Now, you've worked with Timbaland, you've worked with Dua Lipa, you've worked with uh, Danger is your partner, studio partner. Right. Uh, a lot of uh, music from, from hip hop to, to Latin artists and, and uh, rock and everything, pop. Um, do you find that having these types of effects are useful more for, for vocals or for electronic drums or for anything and everything, like how do you use? No, everything. That's the thing. Like um, using Mixbox, I've been able to become very versatile in using it on um, bass, kick, snare. It doesn't really matter because everything is within the realm of that plugin. So for me to be able to just you know um, bust vocals all to one aux track and just have the Mixbox on there and access you know a compressor EQ and reverb. And just adjust settings accordingly is, you know, it's, this is not just a, a one dimensional, um, you know, plug in. It's like it's, you can literally use it on everything all the way down to your your master if you needed to. So. Right. And um, do you find so there's a there's a cool feature I like um, there's it's a dry, wet balance per slot. And it allows you to do things like, let's say, parallel compression where you have the original mixed with the compressed uh, in the same signal chain, or you can add a touch of distortion. Is that something that you find useful for your mixes? Absolutely. Parallel compression, I mean, I'm, 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 that's a big uh, part of my workflow. So for me, it's, a, it's a, an extremely useful tool. Um, and, you know, distortion is something that I always speak upon with my mixes. I mean, for me, it's like the, the budding essence to making, you know, the, the, the mix or, or whatever I'm putting distortion on to just really amplify and bring out those harmonics. So it's, it's an extremely useful tool to have. And, you know, one of the things I've noticed is um, that uh, yourself, Tom Lord Algae, and a bunch of fellow <laughs> engineers have um, taught classes um, with um, Mix with the Masters and others. And... Um, so you have aspiring engineers and artists learning to engineer DIY themselves. Would you say that this is useful, let's say, for doing vocal chains or chains for, for processing different instruments, drums, and just to have it all in one, like a de-esser with a compressor and all that? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the best part about it, is that everything is all in one. You know, instead of you having to search where do I go? What do I use? Everything is literally bundled up into this one lunchbox per se, right? And 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 you literally can just have it all done in one single dose within that plugin. So it absolutely yes. Cool. And um, you know, one of the things that I found, I don't know about you, but like let's say, you know, you've you've used the T-Rex range from IK Multimedia yeah. and that's has a lot of great compressors and EQs and, and limiters and um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, the Sunset Sound Studio Reverb, which we've talked about before, um, and uh, the tape machines. There's a lot of that, obviously, high-end um, plugins individually that you can use. And then this is all in one with 70 effects. Um, but um, to be able to 
do things like, let's say, from the Amplitude world. See, I've always found with Amplitude, a lot of times people think of it like for guitar players, it's for guitar players. It's rig, it's got the stomp and everything. And Mixbox brings some of those effects, some amps actually, some distortions, uh, saturation delays, uh, things that weren't in T-Rex, but are kind of useful, like a boss, like a model of a boss chorus. And yeah. you, do you find that that's a little more sort of engineer friendly in Mixbox, let's say, and lighter on the CPU and stuff? Oh my gosh, that's the, that's the biggest part is, is, you know, how much it doesn't affect your CPU power, you know? Um, and absolutely, because as a mixer, like your job is literally to create, uh, you know, just amplify what's already been done in production and just really bring out the essence. So, you know, having, you know, a, a plugin like Mixbox and just having everything in front of you, you can literally just kind of go around. You don't have to think about it single-handedly like, oh, well, this particular plugin is just for that because since everything is within one, you know, one area, one box, you literally just feel like, okay, you know what? you you feel like you have that freedom and, it, and, 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 you know, for those that aren't necessarily familiar with, you know, kind of going outside of the rule book, this kind of gives you that creative freedom to be like, you know what, it's here. So why couldn't I use it? You know, and why, or, or, or how I'm using it. So, yeah. You know, that's cool. And there's certain products from IK that I, I find because I'm always dealing with, let's say, talking with friends who are top pros and learning myself uh, yeah. and then talking with people who are just aspiring engineers or producers or artists and wanting to get into it. I like certain products that happen to have a duality where pros would use this, like the iLouds, for instance. You use it, uh, you know, Tom Lodalgy, Chris Lodalgy, a lot of top engineers, Pensado, use iLouds to mix, even if they have barefoots, which you notice, by the way, I have in the background. Now. Oh, yeah, beauties. Um, and uh, yet, you know, it's affordable and also good for even a beginner or a semi-pro. I find like Lurson Mastering Console is that way. It's like it's good enough quality, great for pros, but it's also really easy if you just want to like mastering for dummies kind of a thing. It's so easy. Mixbox, I think, is a new product in that vein. It's kind of like you get 70 effects in one, so it's a good starting point for somebody to be like, all right, I got a little of everything here. But I would say, I mean, obviously you you use it now. It's really just useful for anybody, even the top pros, just to be like, you know what? I just want to kind of like, because Tom Ward Algy was telling me actually that like sometimes he just wants to pull up a distortion, just one or two effects to put on a vocal or something. And this is, like you said, light in the CPU and yeah, and easy to do that. Would you say it's kind of like it has that duality where it could just be used by everyone really? Oh my gosh, literally, I mean, not to, I, it literally is like engineer for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but <laughs> not to insult anybody, but literally it is like super simple. Like you just literally, th you know, throw this up on your insert and you're like, you know, go to town, you know? We have those type of products in hardware, even like Pultex. It's yeah. like, you know what? This is a few knobs. Don't worry about it. <laughs> or like, like nothing to be afraid of here. <laughs> it's just the sound of it, really. Yeah, exactly. Um, so let me tell. Let me ask you. So first of all, um, so what are you working on right now? I know you're not at the studio right now. Yeah. But what 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 have you been doing? I have been working on uh, a few different artists. A lot of the artists that I'm working on right now are in development. So mm -hmm. there are new artists that haven't hit the market. So you know, it's been kind of it's been fun because. You know, when you have new artists like that, literally your creative freedom goes like beyond, you know, there's no one really telling you like what that sound should be because they already have been boxed in with that sound. So, you know, since the pandemic, like that's sort of what I've been really tapping into is just working with the artists that, you know, Danger and I are developing and, and uh, you know, next year when things are, I pray a little better, um, you know, we'll be able to be in a better place with uh, releasing these artists, their music, so that they're able to do shows and, and whatnot. So, yeah. That's great. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, you know, and I think this is the case for a lot of music people. Um, you've been able to keep busy regardless. Yeah. You know, yeah. We're in yeah. our studios. Yeah. 
<laughs> it doesn't look like much, but I'm actually in my studio room at home. But everything is literally in the box here, so you can't see anything. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so it's just like a quick little, you know, setup that I have when I want to just work from here. That's great. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, you know, we don't have the opportunity to see you at AES uh, this time in person. Uh, virtual AES is it's not not bad. You know, it's, uh, they. The show goes on. Show goes on. Of course, this is what the, uh, the business is about. <laughs> the show yeah. must go on. Absolutely. And yeah. you know, when this whole thing's over, we'll uh, we'll we'll visit. And we'll we'll IK will come celebrate at your studio, and we'll have oh, a party. Please. You guys are always welcome. You guys are always welcome. All now right. I, take I, have, I have my eyelids here. I wish I could show them to you, but then I pull oh, wires yeah. out. Yeah, that's great. Uh, to have, oh, I actually, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, yes. Oh, how okay. cool. You have the yeah, white one. Know, the, the white one. <laughs> Don't be jealous, people. Don't be jealous. Uh -huh. Everybody always asks me, like, where did you get the white ones from? I'm like, Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh -huh. You have to have inside connections. No, they're available now. All oh. the MTMs, by the way, in white. Oh, uh -huh. there we go. Now we're talking. We, we'll, we'll talk after this. <laughs> But uh, yeah, actually, isn't let's just briefly talk about that. I mean, how useful is it to you to have the same monitor reference at home and in the studio? Oh, it's. I mean, I, I it's it, it's extremely essential. Um, I have to be able to translate. You know, if I'm working a bit in the studio and, and like today, I, like I'm working on some of the work that I've been doing this week, and now I'm home. I, I need the translation to sort of be in the same. Place. I may not be in the same room, but because I know what you know what is coming off of these speakers, I'm able to work in a very comfortable and um, trusting place. So, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, cool. All right, Marcella. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, uh, Dave. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Take care and okay. stay safe. All right. Bye. Bye.